Hello, uh, today we are demonstrating the features of the uh, PureTech Tell Enclosure as well as the PureTech 3 uh, height adjustable pier which is inside the uh, Tell Enclosure right now. Uh, inside also are two large refractors mounted on uh, in tandem on the PureTech 3. So one, uh, one advantage with having such a small uh, observatory is uh, it's not intrusive, uh, you know, like the large observatories. Uh, some uh, HOAs won't, won't allow large buildings like in yards and so forth. Uh, this one I was, we were able to put on a patio uh, and it, think, it really didn't take a lot of room. Um, especially uh, when you realize what's inside is, is such a large, you know, such a large setup. Uh, so I'm going to open the door, uh, roll off the roof, and then raise the pier. So as you can see, we have a pretty large setup in here, uh, considering the small footprint of the observatory. Uh, this particular one is manual, it uh, doesn't have a motor on it. A uh, motor can be put on it to automatically open the roof uh, and also raise up here uh, through our controller. Uh, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, uh, this is the setup that we have right now. And uh, I will show you uh, raising the pier and then um, moving the uh, the large mount uh, just to a random position. So we're raising the pier now. Uh, raising the pier will allow you to uh, to get above the above the wall uh, near the horizon. Uh, so sometimes uh, you may think, well, we usually don't uh, view near the horizon, but you might have a comet uh, that's just near. That's usually where they travel or along the horizon, uh, depending on, on where you are in in uh, on Earth, but most likely they are near the horizon, and you you won't you won't miss those if you have a standard non-adjustable pier inside an observatory because you won't be able to see over the wall. So as you can see we got this up pretty high uh, you know pretty close right now it's facing where the, where the roof is uh, which kind of blocks the horizon a little bit but when you move it to the west uh, the wall is shorter and you'll be able to see over the horizon. So now we'll just move them out to a uh, just a random position to show you the flexibility of this, of this setup. The cables need to clean, be cleaned up a little bit, but I haven't done that yet. So as you can see, it's pretty high up there. Uh, you know, we have uh, we have a tandem setup, so you can utilize both telescopes, uh, both solar and uh, night night viewing. Uh, so yeah, so uh, basically, 
this demonstrates like a small footprint of an observatory uh, with two large refractors and a very large mount, uh, as a matter of fact. So now I will uh, put everything back and close the roof. I will lower the uh, pier and then uh, stow the pier back into the observatory and close the roof. Well, also, most importantly, the, uh, the pier holds polar alignment at every height and it's been tested uh, rigorously for that uh, reason. Closing the roof. There's also a lock back here. You can lock the roof position. There you have it. Thanks for listening. And thanks for watching.